I was at my girlfriend's house and her brother was caught blocking and being weird and I don't know what that means. So when he went outside to play basketball, I pissed inside of his power aid and his sister, my girlfriend, watched me do it. He drank it and instantly spit that shit out. Why? Why did you do that? You could have just not pissed in his drink and why did his sister allow you to do this it is not a funny harmless prank to piss in people's drinks and let them actually drink it holy shit what the fuck is wrong with you people on reddit you're so cute and funny can i crush your balls reddit an app which, honestly, I can't say I've missed. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that all of you guys know what Reddit is by now. But for the one grandma watching, Reddit is basically a black pill version of Twitter. I don't think I can name one good thing that comes out of Reddit. Granted, I still think Reddit is better than Twitter in every single regard. But that's not really much of a feat because Twitter is quite literally a fucking hellhole. I am now specifically talking about that fucking Drake video. I can't express into words how good my life would be if this app didn't fucking exist. But when it comes down to it, Twitter is just a home for idiots who like to think they're fucking Jimmy Neutron. But on the other hand, Reddit is a home for people who are genuinely fucking evil. As I've already expressed in my previous Reddit videos, people will actually go on here and express their deepest, darkest sins which not even a judge would want to hear. Some of this shit is actually fucking insane. I would go to the grave with all of these. But yes, I've done this whole rodeo before. I'm two Reddit videos deep now and I'm still somehow sane. But if you want to check the previous videos out, then links will be in the description or I'll just put a title card on the screen. It doesn't fucking matter. Well, with all that said, let's check out some Reddit confessions. They can't be worse than last time. I fucking hope not. But today we'll be playing judge and seeing how fucked up the moral compass of the people of Reddit really are. I already know I'm not going to be happy by the end of this video. Confession. I was fighting this girl when she sat on me and I lost. So I got petty and I brought a cup of my piss and I walked up to her and she wanted to fight me again and I threw the cup of piss on her clothes. And she was wearing white so it showed yellow and she had to go home and when I got home I got the worst ass beating of my life. What the actual fuck did I just read? Okay, it's either this guy's grammar is so shit or I'm getting retarded in my old age. Wait, no, forget that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Who in their right mind walks around with a cup of piss on them? Why? Why do you have a cup of your own piss on you? What the fuck is it with the Reddit and piss? Even in my last video, bro, you Reddit people love piss. It's starting to get really weird now. Well, it was weird from the start, but... You know what I mean. Fucking hell. You couldn't just fight her normally, you know, left hook cross. Oh no, you had to come into school with a cup and piss in it and pour it on her shirt. The ass beating you got for doing that was well deserved. You're a fucking weirdo for doing that. That fucking little Batman face at the end of that, yeah, that's me. That's my face right now. I can't believe what I just fucking read. So this one time, my principal made a rule where phones aren't allowed. I was walking down the hallway and then I see him. He asked me what's in your pocket. I don't have my phone, so I didn't know what to say. He grabbed grabbed my meat. Okay, that felt like it took quite an inappropriate turn. That's just a straight up fucking crime. Hmm, I feel like this student is hiding his phone. Let me grab his cock. Unless you have a fucking penis pocket, I don't know why he would grab that. Unless your fucking meat is where your pockets are, and if that's the case, then you should probably get that checked out. But if not, then your principal is just a fucking pedophile. Just lock him up now. What was he actually thinking, bro? What the fuck? Why did he just randomly grab your dick? Dick, bro. <laughs> uh, it's not funny, but it's funny. Oh, God. When I was approximately a seven-year-old youngin, I used to go to this camp with my church every year in the summer. There, I saw a tall, light-skinned girl that seven-year-old me thought was super pretty. She knew my name for some reason, but I didn't question how she did. I asked her to push me when I was on the swing, and I asked for a piggyback ride so I could grab her. I was devious back then, not gonna lie. When she brought me back to the boys' lounge, I ran into my dad, and she seemed to know him too. I then figured out that she was my fucking cousin. Yeah... Yeah. Now that isn't great. But since you were a child, I don't think anyone can really blame you too much. But at the same time, what kind of seven-year-old is out here grabbing ass cheeks? I mean, when I was seven, I was too busy following Minecraft tutorials on how to build a house. Which was probably a good thing. I mean, look how far it got this guy. Groping his fucking cousin at church camp. Are you serious? But hey, you know, you live your life. 
some people the hard way, but you still learn. Hopefully he didn't make a habit out of it. When I was a kid, me and my sister were standing in line for some food. I was messing around and started doing a spin attack move where I stuck my arms out and started spinning. There was a fat ass bitch in front of us and I lost my balance and smacked her ass so hard it made a fucking sound effect. I fucking booked it and when she turned around, all she saw was my sister. She chewed the fuck out of my sister and she cried the whole day. Never mention that day to my sister. All right, so... Let me get this straight. You and your sister are standing in line for some food, right? And then you do the spinny attack, accidentally smack some ass cheeks and disappear. Bro, how the fuck is that even possible? You're telling me that no one saw you run away? Unless you can freeze fucking time, there is no way that your sister didn't know that you were the one who smacked the ass. Which means that not only did she get chewed out for no fucking reason, but she knew it was you the whole time. I know kids are devious and all, but fucking hell, this is a new low. Why would you do this to your own family? I just feel bad man she took the fall for you and you just ran away and let her cry fucking hell people usually say kids aren't born evil but reddit is starting to make me doubt that holy hell this one time in sixth grade i was so tired in class and didn't feel like getting up and i had to fart so i said whatever and farted bruh i felt the shit coming out and ran to the bathroom it looked like someone put chocolate inside of a shotgun and shot it out my underwear that is fucking vile holy shit i didn't have a phone or anything so i took off my underwear and left it there oh what the fuck by the age of 10 and 11 you know right from wrong and the wrong thing to do here would be to leave your underwear full of actual shit in the toilet my prayers go out to the cleaners for that day imagine you clean up the whole school almost done for the day and you go into the toilet and you see a turd packaged in underwear that would be the day i quit i am not fucking dealing with that shit and did he go commando the whole day there is no fucking way that no one smelt that. Like, a simple wipe isn't gonna help that. You need a shower if there's shit running down your legs. Can you just fucking imagine him walking around with shit running down? You know what? No. We're just not gonna go there. I think we can all agree that this is absolutely fucking disgusting. And that he should have just gone to the teachers or some shit. I don't care how embarrassing it is to say, Oh, miss, I shit myself. Because I'd rather that than walking around Commander with my shitty ass and me only one layer from the world. All it would take is one guy to pants you and you would have been cooked. Not only would you be completely exposed to the world, but you'd also be emitting a smell which I feel like I'd rather lose all my five senses than smell even once. That that shit is fucking nasty, man. So I met this girl and we started dating. Couple of months later, we smashed. No big deal. And on a Saturday, we had a family gathering with all our large extended family. Only to see her there and she was one of my cousins I never met. I've been traumatized by her ever since. No. No, no. This can't be fucking real. What the fuck, man? What is with Reddit and having sexual relations with their cousins? Mate. I would never recover from this. I would need therapy like every day. Bro smashed his cousin. Bro smashed his fucking cousin. I mean, at least with the other guy from earlier, he was a fucking kid and he didn't actually do anything. But you are a fully grown man and you put your... I'm not even gonna go into detail. We all know how fucked this is. That would do irreversible damage to anyone's mental state. I mean, yeah, it's a hefty loss. Your girlfriend of a few months just turns out to be your fucking cousin. But hey, at least you weren't married and didn't have any kids. And it's a good thing too, because they would probably look like they were generated by AI. But even with that said, this is still just sad. I can't even blame this guy. This is just a holy L on all fronts. Get well soon, man. When I was in sixth grade, I was in an ELA class. And I just realized I do not want to read this out loud. When I was in sixth grade, I was in ELA class sitting in the back, right? And my dick was hard, but I had to go sharpen my pencil because it broke when I was writing an essay. So I go up there and then come behind me and pants me. Whole class saw my Avengers underwear with a hard dick. Most embarrassing moment of my life. Okay, at what point are we gonna throw in personal responsibility? There's like a handbook of unspoken rules amongst men. Rule 25, if you are bricked for any reason, you do not stand up, no matter the situation. The pencil was not that fucking important, okay? You could have waited like two minutes. Now I'll admit, okay, the guy did sneak you. He did not need to do that. And having Marvel underwear, it's far from the best look. But the fact that you had a rager the whole time just makes it worse. Like if you got pants and you was wearing boxer briefs, no brick, I think everyone would let it slide. But if you was wearing straight briefs with Iron Man on it with a brick, bro, 
you're cooked. If there's ever any roasting sessions after that, you better put your head down and not even fucking smile. One little smirk and you would have been burnt crisply. However, it is a lesson we all learn, some the hard way and some the really hard way but it is better late than never i guess this special ed kid came up behind me when i was pissing and tried to put his bare ass dick in my butt so i turned around and slumped him all right well turning around and sparking him in the face is a bit extreme me personally i wouldn't go that far i mean purely on how intimate he was trying to become would gauge how violent I became but it's not a far-fetched reaction I mean if I'm pissing and I feel a little Johnson rub up against my ass cheeks it is not gonna be sunshine and rainbows I'll tell you that now I'm guessing this took place in a school setting and if that's the case then where the fuck are the supervisors you know those teachers who go around helping the disabled kids why would they allow him to just go into any toilet they have disabled toilets for a fucking reason yes I feel bad that a disabled kid got absolutely smoked because of this and yes this guy should have probably held off on the swing first ask questions after but ultimately the responsibility does fall to the adult here. you get paid to watch over special ed kids so do your fucking job i don't know if teachers are allowed in student toilets anymore i can't fucking remember but even so the supervisor should have made sure that he went into the disabled toilets because this will happen if they don't <laughs> oh some of this shit is fucking funny man i was in class one day and i had to pee but my teacher wouldn't let me bro i fucking hate when teachers do that shit man they'd be like oh go at break time bro there was a fucking fight in the toilet at break time fucking hell but i'm sure this guy handled the situation very maturely and calmly so i peed myself and everyone started saying it smelled like pee and then she said i could go to the bathroom when she'd done talking so when she let me go i took off my underwear and tried to flush it but it wouldn't flush so i just left it in the bathroom and yeah and yeah and yeah bro you just left your pissy underwear in the toilets for the cleaners to find what the fuck is wrong with you where do these people from reddit come from where this is the second time a guy has gone toilet on himself gone commando and left the fucking mess there what goes on on reddit maybe i'm just the most sane person on the planet because I haven't pissed or shit on myself since nursery. And here we have these people in sixth grade. Ten-year-olds. Pissing and shitting on themselves and leaving the mess behind. What in the little space is wrong with you lot? Like if you were six, maybe seven, yeah, fine. Brother, you're ten. Turning eleven. Why are you pissing on yourself? Actually, you know what? Fuck that. Forget that. Scratch that. You piss on yourself, fine, whatever mistakes are made. At least tell the teacher and go home. Don't just go back to a lesson with your meat just dangling, bro. Go home. And better yet, put the underwear in the fucking bin. Don't just leave it there. By 10 years old, you should know this shit. Pissing on yourself and leaving the underwear there is not how we do things. Jesus Christ. I'm a construction worker who loves to wear panties and get pegged. Yeah, okay, no. No. Sorry, mate. I don't think I want to go into detail on that one. There are some things about you that should just be kept to yourself, and that was one of them. You absolute fucking weirdo. But I guess that goes for most of these. I don't know why the fuck you would want to share some of this shit. Like, if I actually had a shotgun dookie spread down my leg, I promise you now that is going to the grave with me. And if I actually did have intercourse with my cousin, then... I'm never touching the internet ever again in my life. I'm leaving modern civilization behind and moving out to a temple to become a monk. That's how badly I'd be scarred. Well, with that said, at least we know the Reddit confessions are still absolutely fucking insane. But as I said before, I've already made two videos on the topic. Title card on the screen right here click on it if you want to watch it and if not then feel free to check out my other video but anyways guys this is in fact the end of the video and if you liked please leave a like and if you didn't then feel free to degrade me in the comments and if you made it this far into the end of the video and you aren't subscribed yet then subscribe or not i mean do whatever you want, man. But with all that said, all my links and socials are in the description. Feel free to follow me on anything. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. But until next time, make sure to drink your water and get enough sleep at night. Okay, goodbye.
No, I gotta keep my fire on. Fire on, fire on, fire on. Yeah, my whip, I'm flying. That girl on my left. That bitch on my right on. Damn, your heels, they so high. Yeah, get your height on. Yeah, smoke that guy like Shaq. Told that guy I ride on. Getting that gold. Yeah.